Get more recognition at work by learning how to communicate the benefits your achievements and successes give your bosses. Working hard or long hours does not get you more recognition at work on its own. Many people work hard and don't get promoted. The workplace is very competitive. It is the combination of doing good work and communicating your work properly to the right people that increases the appreciation you are shown and the recognition you get. It would be amazing if all those that worked really hard and did great jobs would get the recognition they deserved. You can't rely on those bosses who are so busy and under pressure to shout your praises if you're not making it really easy for them to understand how much you help them. Use the fact that your bosses care a lot about their goals, their targets and their reputation to gain recognition for what you do. To help you, we're going through these six ways to get more recognition at work. Firstly, do the important things really well. Secondly, measure the impact of your accomplishments. Third, link your results to team, function and company goals. Fourth, professionally market your work to your busy bosses. Fifth, build relationships across the organisation and help others out. And then sixth, communicate how you are a team player. If you don't know about or understand the extent of your contribution, how will you get more recognition for all the great work you do? You want your bosses to notice you for the right reasons and build the right type of reputation. Doing both will give you more opportunities, more interesting work and projects and get you noticed at work and speed up your career progress. My name is Jess Coles and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources and courses teaching you how to build higher performing teams. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below as well as the video timestamps so do take a look at these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The first way to get more recognition at work is to do the important things really well. You probably will have more work than hours in the day. Within your job and what is expected from you, there will be first some urgent and important tasks, secondly more important but not urgent tasks, third lots of urgent but not so important tasks and fourth probably a number of not urgent and not important tasks. If you spend more of your time on the urgent tasks than you do on the important tasks, you are likely to be very busy, work hard, yet not do a standout job. The better you do the important tasks, the more time you spend on the important tasks, the better the job you are likely to do in the eyes of your boss and other managers. Doing the important stuff well is really important for how you stand out at work and get more recognition at work. To know what is important and what is not, understand these three things. Firstly, what about your role contributes the most to the team, function and business hitting its goals? And your personal goals and objectives should cover the most valuable things that you can do. Secondly, what are the most valuable goals, objectives and output for the team you work in? And third, what does your boss care most about? When you are confident with your answers to each of these questions, you'll know what the most valuable and important areas are for you to focus on. Doing a really good job in the important areas will massively help you get more recognition and be noticed at work. The second way to get more recognition at work is to measure the impact of your accomplishments. If you don't know how much value your accomplishments create for the business, no one else is likely to. When your bosses and colleagues know and understand the value you create, you'll be noticed at work and will get more recognition. For all of your accomplishments, measure the impact on the business in terms of the additional revenues and profit or the reduction of costs. Capturing your impact in financial terms makes it easy for your bosses to understand your contribution to the success of the team and company. Very few of your colleagues will put in that extra bit of work to translate their accomplishments into financial results. Doing so is great for how to stand out at work. The bigger the financial impact of your accomplishments and the work you do, the more recognition you'll get. Measuring your impact in financial terms makes communicating your value a lot easier and what you communicate will have more credibility and be more memorable. 
a great way to stand out and get more recognition at work. The third way to get more recognition at work is to link your results to team function and company goals. Linking the results you personally produce to the goals of the wider team and business frames how you are helping your bosses and the business reach their goals. Bosses and managers are busy people and under pressure. They won't necessarily make the time to understand how you're helping them personally. Spell out what you're doing to help them hit their personal goals. Regularly repeat your messaging in terms of how you are helping your bosses, team and company hit goals and you will stand out at work. An example might be, I've improved the conversion rate of these six Facebook campaigns from an average of 12.5% to 24.3%. That is an increase in revenue of over 3 million each year. This means your team is now 10% ahead of its targets for the year and we are on track to happily hit the company's annual targets. Keep reminding your boss and colleagues how your efforts are helping them and you'll get a lot more recognition at work. Professionally marketing your work to your busy bosses is the fourth way to get more recognition at work. The relationship you have with your line manager is the most important one at work. Your boss influences or decides what work you do, what projects you work on, what opportunities you're given to you and ultimately if and when you get promoted. Have a great relationship with your boss and you'll get a lot more recognition, be a lot happier at work and have a more successful career. Have a poor relationship and you get the opposite. Make the effort to learn what is important to your boss. Deliver results that will help your boss achieve their goals. Then market what you have achieved in terms of how it helps them. Four ways of marketing yourself include, firstly, you know, provide your bosses with updates on a regular basis, including the financial benefits of what you do. Secondly, talk about your achievements and what they mean for the team in your one-on-one -on -one meetings with your manager. Third, provide email summaries and updates to your boss and others. And fourth, offer to provide updates in team meetings of progress towards team goals. Make the effort to communicate what you have achieved and you'll be noticed at work a lot more and you'll get a lot more recognition at work. Once you are comfortable with your marketing efforts to your boss, start marketing to your boss's peers through to the leadership team. Frame everything you do in terms of how it helps the person you're marketing to. Be systematic in who you market your work to and you'll stand out and gain a lot more recognition across the management population. The fifth way to get more recognition at work is to build relationships across the organisation and help others out. Building relationships across the organisation at all levels and helping others out is very powerful. Very few of us can be successful on our own. We need the help of others to do a great job and stand out at work. The more people you know across your organisation and the more people you help, the more favours you will build up. When you ask for help, they will feel a lot more obliged to help you. Reciprocity is powerful. With more people willing to help you, you'll be a lot more effective doing your job and will get a lot more done compared to those without as big a network as you or who don't offer as much help to others as you do. Very effective for how to stand out at work and get more recognition at work. Tips to get to know more people across the organisation. First, be willing to be proactively helpful. You can quickly build a reputation for being helpful and approachable, which means more people approach you. Secondly, actively network. You make the opportunities to introduce yourself to more people that you don't know whenever you can. Third, join cross-functional projects. You volunteer for as many projects as practical where you'll work with other people from different departments. Fourth, praise others. You go out of your way to publicly praise the great work of others. Chances are they'll do the same for you. Fifth, socialise with colleagues. You know, attend social activities and events where you can meet different colleagues in an informal setting. And sixth, attend training and development events. You know, internal training events or programmes are always a great way to get to know others from across the organisation. Even better would be to offer to run some of these training sessions. There are so many ways that you can get to know others with a little bit more effort. It can be daunting at first. Practice using work information and insights as a door opener to getting to know others. 
The sixth way to get more recognition at work is to communicate how you are a team player. You get a lot more appreciation and respect at work from everyone when you are a team player. Businesses and managers want team players, you know, those that help everyone be better at what they do, thus increasing the tip performance of the team and the business. Those that are team players stand out at work more, plus get more recognition at work because of how they work to achieve goals. Seven ways to communicate and demonstrate you are a team player. Firstly, collaborate, you know, use your skills and knowledge to proactively help colleagues achieve better results. Secondly, support teammates you know, when they are struggling with problems or have too much to do. Third, communicate openly and honestly with everyone and share your knowledge freely. Fourth, be flexible and adaptable. You know, be open to different ideas, views, tasks, opportunities and be willing to learn and change. Fifth, be a problem solver. Put in the extra effort to provide solutions rather than problems to colleagues and managers. Sixth, deliver to your deadlines. You know, build a reputation for delivering good work in the timeframes you've committed to. Seventh, celebrate others' success. Praise teammates, good work, good ideas, good decisions and good actions. Team players get more recognition at work because they help others be more successful as well as being more successful themselves. So in summary, standing out and getting more recognition at work involves a combination of doing good work, working well in a team, building relationships and marketing your work and results to bosses, peers and colleagues in a professional way. Get more recognition at work through communicating effectively all the good work that you're doing without showing off. Working hard alone is not enough. Creating good results is not enough. You also need bosses and colleagues to know and understand the value that you create for them and how you help them achieve their goals. Few people do this, so it is great for how to stand out at work. We've been through six ways to get more recognition at work, being firstly, do the important things really well. Secondly, measure the impact of your accomplishments. Third, link your results to team, function and company goals. Fourth, professionally market your work to your busy bosses. Fifth, build relationships across the organisation and help others out. And then sixth, communicate how you are a team player. Please put these into practice as well as you can, as quickly as you can, and you'll get a lot more recognition. If you have any questions on six ways to get more recognition at work, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.